How's it going, everybody? Happy Monday. You might be asking yourself, why does Pete have that perma smile on his face, that goofy looking smile plastered on his face right now? Well, it's a great day to be a Clemson Tiger. Now, if you want to know the truth, I think that every day is a great day to be a Clemson Tiger, but I'm a little bit biased in that aspect. Uh, anyway, it's a great day for me. Uh, a bad day for a lot of other people, unfortunately, for you. Uh, which people am I speaking about? Well, the ones, and you might be one of them, uh, that come on this channel constantly and tell me how the game has passed Dabo Sweeney by, all he does is hire his friends, he doesn't like to use the transfer portal, he's sticking his head in the sand, he refuses to change, he's stubborn. It was a great run you had, Pete, there for the last 10 years, but it's over because Dabo Sweeney can't adapt. All of those things have been proven untrue in just the past seven days. You hate to see it, don't you? Well, not if you're me, you don't hate to see it. I love to see it. Uh, so everybody knows that, uh, that Coach Sweeney uh, fired uh, offensive line coach which offensive line has been a, you know, a big Achilles heel for the Clemson Tigers over the past uh, few years. And he also fired the defensive ends coach uh, immediately following the regular season. Uh, he didn't waste any time at all, just like he didn't waste any time at all last year as soon as the season ended in firing Brandon Streeter and going out and making one of the, uh, what I still believe to be one of the best hires in the offseason, uh, going out and getting Garrett Riley. But, so who did they get? Let's take a look at the guys that they got. That's the most important thing. Uh, so, you know, so there's a lot of rumors circulating over the last six or seven days about big names that could fill these uh, positions that were open for Clemson after the firings. Now, I don't like to report or talk about anything on this channel as far as hirings or firings or transfers or any, any of that until I know it's 100% true. Because, I, I, because a lot of people just go out there for the clicks and they'll report on something and, and you know, 20, 24 hours later, even less sometimes, you find out it was completely false and uh, they, they've got everybody all worked up in a tizzy just so they can get a, a few extra clicks on their Twitter or their Facebook or their Instagram or whatever the hell they're, they're, they're doing or on their website. I don't operate that way. I want to see, uh, I want to see it actually happen before I start, you know, saying it. Well. It's official. The Board of Trustees met this morning at 9 a.m. for Clemson, and they have officially hired two of the biggest off-season position coaches' names in all of college football. Period. End of story. Some of these names you might recognize, a lot of you. Matt Luke, former offensive line coach for the Georgia Bulldogs, stepped away to spend time with his family or, or whatever it was, you know, personal reasons. Uh, well, he's, he's now decided he wants to get back into the coaching game, and uh, he's coming to Clemson. So welcome on, uh, Coach Luke. We're happy to have you, and we need you. This, one, uh, this, this next one doesn't really surprise me that much because he does have ties to Clemson. Chris Rumpf. Now, he has coached at Clemson before. Uh, defensive end coach, by the way. Uh, he has coached at Clemson before. He coached from, I think, 2006 to 2010. So he worked under both Bowden and Sweeney early in Sweeney's uh, head coaching tenure at Clemson and um, did a great job. I mean, he developed some of the best defensive ends in, uh, in Clemson history. I mean, we're talking about, like, Hall of Fame-type guys at, at, at Clemson, right? Anyway, he's a big name because uh, not only is a great – coach, uh, but he spent the past four years in the NFL, so he has the recruiting power, the NFL ties, and the coaching ability, and there's not a single team in America that would not be, I mean, absolutely over the moon to have uh, him as their uh, defensive ends coach. So, Clemson, so Dabo Sweeney is batting a thousand right now. He's batting a thousand in his coaching hires. And the funny thing about Coach Rumpf is he's a South Carolina Gamecock. I mean, he played there. That's where he went to school. 
Now he's got two separate uh, coaching uh, tenures at Clemson. But the first one very successful, uh, then a very successful NFL coaching career, and now back at Clemson. Instead of in South Carolina with Coach Beamer and company. Uh, they, they, they swung and missed on that one. And of course, Dabo Sweeney is just a better coach than Shane Beamer. I mean, uh, the brand's bigger, Clemson's brand's bigger. I mean, everything about Clemson is better than South Carolina. I, I don't want to turn this into a, a South Carolina bashing video because uh, that's just too easy. Uh, but it's just a fact. And also, some of the things that I've been seeing over the past year or two, particularly over the, during this year, I think, uh, because it was a sort of a second, quote unquote, disappointing season for the Tigers in a row. I think last year people were still waiting, uh, like on the fence. But some of the criticisms I hear about Dabo, you know, losing touch and not offering people in the portal, which he's doing. And by the way, from what I'm hearing, you're about to hear some big names in the portal very soon coming to Clemson. So th that'll kill that narrative as well as a lot of the others. But one of the one of the, like, like the, the dumbest and most confusing narratives that I've heard about Dabo is the recruiting. There's actually people out there that are trying to convince me and have been commenting over and over again that the recruiting is suffering at Clemson and that's the that's the first sign of a downfall of a great program. I'm like, you, you do realize that before you start typing that to me, that Google is very easy to use and recruiting rankings are very easy to look up. I know people look at Deshaun Watson and Trevor Lawrence and Travis Etienne and Sammy Watkins and New Hopkins and Justin Ross. I mean, just... I, 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 I forget the, I didn't even name any defensive players. Shit, the defensive players might be even more impressive over Dabo Sweeney's tenure than, than the offensive players. If you just look at the numbers in the NFL and drafts, I don't know if people just don't understand. Dabo Sweeney is now going in to uh, his 16th year as head coach at Clemson. And the recruiting right now is, is the same as it has been for about the last 12 or 13 years. They average right around 9, 10, 11 on an annual basis. That was the case when they were winning titles. That was the case when they went on the run uh, of six straight college football playoff uh, appearances, playoff wins, top 10 wins. I mean, just... The numbers now, as far as recruiting goes, are no different than they have been for a long time. They have, I don't know, two or three, I think maybe only two, top five recruiting classes under Dabo Sweeney. And none of those were in the, within the past few years. Uh, every other year, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, whatever. They average right around, right around 10, right around 10 or 11. And that's where they're at now. I don't know. I think they'll probably break the top 10 uh, both this year and in 2025. Uh, we've already got some, uh, some, some huge commits coming in. But I, th none of that matters. I'll, we'll, we'll get into the recruiting here uh, in, in about a month or so um, when it matters, you know, for, for next year or whatever. But the point is there, there has not been a single iota of a drop-off in Clemson's recruiting. Not, 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 not a bit. So I don't know where you're getting these numbers from. I don't know where you're getting a lot of the other rhetoric that you come up with um, about how, yeah, Dabo refuses to do this, refuses to do that. And then, then when he does it, you still say, oh, well, you'll, you'll find some other you know, non-factual reason to say, uh, to try to prove your point. Uh, yeah, too many of you people just you know, are projecting. You're projecting that you want Dabo Sweeney not to adapt. You're projecting that you want Clemson to fall off and go away. Uh, but your projection and reality are two different things. I'm, I'm, I hate to be the one to break it to you. Uh, that Clemson is not going anywhere anytime soon. They're just not. So you can cry about it. Uh, you, you can get your emotional support animal or your emotional support blanket 
or your safe space room or whatever you got to do, go ahead and do it and get over it and wake up to the facts. And the facts is everything you've been saying for the past two or three years is being thrown back in your face and embarrassing you. Have a great day.